Hello friends, welcome back to Whisper and Blog and this new tonic series of sex series of uh, training. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, how to change the default passwords for CVM, Prism Element, Prism Central, IPMI, ESXi box. If we are uh, if we are using a uh, uh, VMware of ESX as a hypervisor uh, and AHV or even uh, Hyper-V. So whenever whenever we deploy any Nutanix uh, uh, components or uh, when you deploy the Nutanix environment uh, by default uh, it will use the default passwords uh, username and passwords uh, while deploying the things like uh, whenever you deploy a prism element it will be using the default uh, username password but uh, when you log in first time it will ask for changing the password but uh, whereas uh, for CVMs prism element and uh, IPMI is like uh, it's a uh, uh, connectivity to the ES, ESX uh, connectivity to the hardware where directly we can connect to the hardware and you can monitor the console you can look at login to the console so that is uh, IPMI so even if you are deploying uh, ESXi uh, hypervisor Nutanix will uh, use the default username password so <coughs> So even for uh, the same for AHV and uh, Microsoft uh, hypervisor. So we need to change these uh, default passwords uh, as in your production. Uh, you cannot keep them, uh, keep them and use them uh, uh, because the security team uh, definitely it will point out and it's not safe to use the uh, default passwords as the entire world knows uh, what is the default passwords for this. So, so. We have to change the passwords for this, but uh, for that uh, we have to know what uh, we have to do to change the passwords and what will be the impact that we have to make sure. So before you change the <coughs> passwords, uh, like in the environment, you need to run the uh, you need to run the CVM uh, uh, run the health check uh, NCC check. So for that uh, you need to go to the uh, Mm, prism element and uh, you need to go to pr health and you need to run the you need to go to actions and run uh, ncc checks so it will ask for if it will ask you to run for all checks or only the failed one so we can select the we need to select the all checks and run it so that uh, before we change the passwords so or any issues you have uh, that will be identified and we need to fix it so so that is in progress so we don't need anything to look at it but uh, I just want to make inform you that uh, we need to run the health check uh, NCC check before we do this so here uh, the default default passwords so if you see here I just collected it from the Nutanix uh, so if it is Nutanix hardware uh, that is NX or SX series uh, default uh, uh, passwords will be uh, like this if it is IPMI it will be a username is admin and password is admin if it is CVM uh, the username is Nutanix and uh, password is Nutanix slash for you likewise uh, it will be for a AHV and uh, Prism Prism Central also same like if you see here most of the uh, for the most of the things uh, password is like Nutanix slash for you so we need to change all for uh, hyper v is administrator is a login and password is the same and for esxi is root and uh, password is same so these are all uh, default passwords and uh, based on the hardware the passwords uh, for a few cases it will be ch different so if you see here on nutanix lenovo hardware that is uh, uh, like uh, password is the password for uh, mm, uh, for the tsm whereas uh, Nutanix Dell uh, Dirac is uh, Calvin so it's like that so I will be uh, pasting this information in the description so uh, like just for your reference uh, based on the new hardware the few passwords will be different but uh, most of the stuff will be same so here uh, these are all but we are not going through all so we just to view uh, just to just for sharing I'm, I'm doing that so apart from that uh, uh, we'll go back to our slide so here if you see what is the CVM uh, default password username is Nutanix and password is Nutanix slash for you 
so we need to change this one so uh, we'll be logging to any of the CVM first with the Nutanix username and the password once you log in uh, we'll be typing the sudo password Nutanix uh, so mm, that will change uh, that will ask you for the username password new username password so let's log in to our uh, one of the CVM <coughs> the username I put it wrong so we logged into our uh, CVM so here we need to run this pa uh, this command to change the password so sudo so it will ask for a new password so you need to give the new password okay we'll try one more time okay so password is updated uh, so <coughs> if you have uh, 23 or 25 nodes uh, 10 uh, 25 CVMs uh, in your cluster so are you going to log into each and everything each and every CVM and you are going to do it the answer is no so once you change the password for one CVM it will be replicating to the all other what how many uh, it may be it will be a it will be replicated to all the CVMs and uh, the CVMs will be updated with the new password so once you log off and if you connect to different uh, CVM uh, it will uh, take the new password only so this is just an FI so so this is for CVM and if you go to the AHV so actually uh, uh, there is an article f uh, in the Nutanix uh, site where I just pull this information uh, so and Nutanix has provided uh, scripts uh, like a, a small script uh, uh, which uh, when you are uh, when you are running that script on the on the CVM it will change the password for uh, AHV so we need to copy the entire script here till this and you need to paste it in the <coughs> CVM console uh, so when you do that uh, it will uh, change the root password for uh, AHV for the admin you need to uh, uh, for to change the admin password uh, you need to uh, like uh, do the same like uh, do the uh, you need to copy this script uh, and you need to paste it and uh, it will change the password for the admin for root uh, I just copied it and uh, let's see uh, <coughs> let me expand this one So it's asking for to put the uh, enter the new password. Okay, enter the new password. So now it's updated. <laughs> it's updated, and uh, even for uh, AHP also for the hypervisor. Uh, even if it is a ESXA, ESXA box, uh, the root password for uh, if you have a 25 ESXA box or a 25 mm, AHV hypervisors, when you run this command on one CVM, uh, it will update that uh, new password to all the all the uh, hypervisor boxes, whether it is AHV or whether it is a ESXI. So no need to log into each server and you need to change the password so even uh, yeah, it's a good thing is like uh, if you type a wrong password uh, it will uh, uh, for the uh, it will ask for a re retype the new password and if it is a mismatch uh, it won't allow you to change it so that's what we observed like when in our uh, previous commands like uh, i put a wrong password and it says uh, sorry password doesn't match so this is a good thing and uh, and the new password is now for the root is uh, updated 
on our AHV hypervisor as well as uh, if you run this uh, script for uh, admin the admin password will be changed and if you run this uh, script for Nutanix password will be changed so same thing for ESXi uh, so you need to copy the complete uh, entire script and uh, you need to paste it on the CBM console and uh, uh, when you run it uh, it will ask for a new password when you put the password uh, it will update to the all ESXi root, uh, root passwords and uh, here you make sure that you won't use the uh, special characters like uh, dollar backslash uh, like all these these are all not uh, accepted they will be accepted but uh, the input may change because the because of the uh, of the program like uh, so how it is like this is how it is uh, 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 like if you look at the document it was mentioned clearly that uh, bash may take it as in a different uh, way and uh, if you use this code so it will create a problem uh, so even uh, if you see here uh, it mentioned the script cannot be used for passwords that contain special characters these are the special characters so make sure that you won't use these special characters and uh, same thing for hy hyper v so this is the script we need to use for hyper v and uh, for the prism and element and prism central uh, you need to log into the prism central vm and uh, you need to log in with the uh, Nutanix uh, uh, username and the default password so you need to enter the same like uh, uh, sudo password Nutanix and you can change it same for prism element we can do the same like or else uh, you just log into the uh, prism element console and go to the admin and the change password here uh, uh, you need to put the current password and uh, put the new password and just click update so that I uh, uh, will update the so you have a save option here if everything is correct it will allow you to save or else it will say mismatch or uh, wrong password so this is the one way and uh, this is what I mentioned here or else if you want to do it from a CVM uh, just copy this and uh, just put it there uh, we need to put the new password here instead of this new password just put the new password and paste it there and uh, that's it so here for the IPMI like uh, out of band management uh, so admin is the default uh, username and password is also admin so for this also you can if uh, the uh, IPMI for each host is same uh, then you can use this same uh, uh, script but uh, if you have a different password for different host uh, multiple like it's not a unique password then you have to login to the IPMI console using the browser IP and the browser login and uh, there you have an option to change the password so you have to change the password uh, that's what it mentioned the below command will change the IPMI admin user password all hosts in the Nutanix cluster if the password is identical for all IPMIs if the passwords are not the same please refer IPMI <coughs> sorry IPMI password chain where it says the same like you need to log into the IPMI uh, using IPMI browser console uh, you need to log in and uh, you need to change the password it's pretty simple so so uh, uh, let me take you to the uh, to the site uh, lead to the document which I was referring to so yeah, this is the document I was talking about where uh, the steps are given how to change the password and what are the steps we need to take care so in the description it says to run this command uh, like to check the password uh, check our default password check uh, uh, so uh, like uh, if you see here run the ncc check using this uh, like uh, on the cvm if you run this command it will it will run the ncc check for all and if you want to run the ncc check for only uh, uh, only for the uh, password check then uh, then it will check for the uh, default password check and uh, it will give an output and uh, here it, it also clearly mentioned what could be the output and uh, how to understand the output uh, so if it is passed then it's fine so 
looking at this uh, reading at this you will uh, definitely understand uh, whether you need to change the password or not or else you can run the ncc check from the console they given the check id and uh, let id all details uh, if you are running it on uh, on a cvm so here this is how it is so when i run it it's giving the description like uh, output uh, uh, like uh, everything is fine or anything i need to take care so this is uh, this is the output for the commands which uh, mentioned above and for the uh, to fix uh, the default password solution is like for cvm this is the what uh, we need to run and avh this is what the script we need to run for esxi uh, for uh, prism everything i just copied from here thanks to nutanix so uh, this is uh, this is a document uh, which i definitely sharing with you guys in my description so thank you guys thanks for watching and i hope uh, this is informative for you guys and uh, please do subscribe channel and like videos and any suggestions and queries please reach out to me on vstudentblog at the rate at gmail.com thank you bye bye